Hi, everyone. I'm Jill Nicolini for Convention TV at NAM, written and produced by Testa Communications. This TV program is brought to you each day of the show with a new production every day. Our reporters are swarming the show floor, bringing you all the latest information. And, of course, we're joined by Melora Donahue, our field correspondent. Hello, Melora. What have you got to kick off for today's show? Jill, we are going to kick off today's show at the Bourne's Pro Audio booth. I am hanging with Chuck right now. Chuck, tell NAM attendees what you want them to know. Okay, well, we've got a couple of brand new um, models that we're going to release. We've got our PSL motorized slide pot. It comes in 100 millimeter and 60 millimeter sizes. Um, has a lot of the same features as our PSP-01 that we released last year. Um, and then we also have a couple of guitar pot kits that we're releasing. One of them has push-pull switches and push-push uh, switches. The other one is just a mini guitar pot. Okay, so you can see that our, the model that we released last year is about a 32 millimeter height. The model we're releasing this year is only 25 millimeter height. And so this is in response to our audio um, and lighting customers who want something a little bit shorter profile that they can fit into a lower profile desk. Thanks so much. That's some great stuff, Melora. So what else is going out there on the show floor? Okay, Jill, what is going on right now is happening at the D'Angelico booth, and they've got something really exciting. For the first time in the country's history, they are debuting something brand new. Talk to me about it, Ryan. Sure. So, yeah, as you said, for the first time in D'Angelico's 85-year history, we are debuting solid body models. So, largely being known as a semi-hollow and arch-top company, we've kind of been waiting for the right time to make our foray into the solid body world. And so this year we are doing so with uh, three different models. So this is the Atlantic. This is our single cutaway solid body. Um, you can see it has a slim profile to it and a deep belly cut, which keeps it lightweight. This is the Bedford. This is our flagship model in the solid body series. Um, it's an offset body type with the extended horn coming up the fingerboard for, for a nice body balance and the extended uh, lower right bout as well for the same thing. Has a pretty unique electronic setup on here. We have a stacked single coil in the neck, so it's a single coil sound, but it still has the richness of a humbucker. And then in the bridge, we've got the humbucker. So your shared setting on your three-way toggle switch is a really, really unique um, balanced sound. And then you've also got push-pull tone knobs on this um, so that you can split either your stack or your humbucker and you get a really, really spanky, slappy sound too. And then this is the Ludlow. This is uh, probably the most unique body shape in the collection. This is both an offset and a double cutaway with really effortless access to the, to the top frets so you can hit the 20 second fret with, with a ton of ease. Very, very diverse range of guitars um, available at two different series to get as many players as possible trying them out. So we're very, very excited to de debut them. Thanks, Mel. I also heard Bob Weir from the Grateful Dead played at the company's booth last night too. That is really cool. All right, let's get to some more news that's happening today for now. It's time to hit the lights with Drumlight's triggered LED system. You can rig your kit to light up whenever a drum is struck. The trigger is attached to the drum shell itself and pick up on vibrations so a new lighting effect is triggered and each note you play. The latest Drumlight models allow users to toggle the trigger mode on and off with a touch of a button and you can choose from a variety of effects for a new light show with every single performance. Tech 21's Doug Pinnock DP3X Signature Pedal has everything you need to recreate the King's X-Bass player's groundbreaking sound. Pinnock perfected his style in the 80s by running a bass and guitar amp together along with a full rack of effects. But this signature pedal packs all that tech into one 12-ounce box. The result is a combination of high-end distortion and low-end bass in a compact, road-friendly package. Pretty cool. We developed this pedal with Doug. He has an instantly recognizable sound that he used to have to have a large amount of equipment to get. So we were able to basically distill that down into this tiny little pedal so he could travel and just bring the pedal to a gig with him and not have to bring all the other equipment. Uh, the green light's indicating now is that that's the clean channel and we have controls for compression, a three band EQ, with the mid-range has a uh, shiftable frequency from 500 hertz to 1K and a level control. Now it is two channels, so when you press the mix, it brings in the drive and chunk for the uh, distortion sound. Uh, we also have a built-in tuner. You can see right, right there, it's a chromatic tuner. Uh, that also mutes the quarter-inch and XLR outputs. And uh, the quarter-inch output can also be turned into a headphone amp by depressing that button. 
And we'll be right back with important new product news from Celestian, Promark, and Laney. So stay put. Mackie's best-selling powered loudspeaker just got better. The all-new Thump series features more power and all-new hardware designs, plus a companion-powered subwoofer. Thump Boosted models feature a digital mixer with advanced DSP and is the only speaker to offer wireless streaming, linking, and control. The next evolution of Thump is here. Bass players today are seeking a more portable, yet still powerful, amplification solution. We have the products bass players are looking for. The Trace Elliott Elf is the most powerful, gig-worthy bass amplifier ever made. Delivering 200 watts while weighing in under 2 pounds. Come see the best-selling line of bass amplification at the PV booth upstairs in room 201B. Welcome back, everybody. Let's go right now live to the show floor where our field correspondent, Melora Donahue, is at the Loud Technologies booth. What's the buzz, Melora? Jill, right now the buzz that I have going on is at Ampeg, and I am here with my man Dino. Dino, what's the latest and greatest in pedals? Well, let me tell you, Mel, we've had awesome success over the last few years with our pedal lineup. So this year we added two new pedals. We, are, we added a compressor pedal called the Opticomp, as well as a dual chorus pedal called the Liquifier. Two great pedals, great for bass players, great for guitar players. A lot of features that are only found in higher priced boutique pedals, as well as outboard studio gear. So the Liquifier basically has three really simple controls. You've got rate, depth and then effect level. If you notice how I turn up the rate, the flashing LED gets faster, so that kind of indicates how fast my chorus is sweeping. So like I said, great for big guitar players and bass players. We've got to show guitar players some love as well. Thanks so much, Mel. Well, those guys at Loud really know how to impress, don't they? You're absolutely right, Jill, but you know who else is making a huge impression here at the show? It's Fender, and I have Mr. Justin Norvell with me to talk about what's going on in their big booth. All right, Justin, what's new this year at Fender? We have a lot going on. We have our American Original Series. What we've got here is the American Original 60s Jaguar in nice surf green finish. It's got vintage style pickups. It's got vintage style neck shape, but we also, and it's a lacquer finish, we also flattened the fingerboard radius and put slightly taller frets on it just to make it more playable. We've redone our hot rod amps. These are the best selling tube amps of the last 20 years. So we're taking the most popular tube amps and we're giving them some cosmetic tweaks as well as some circuitry tweaks to just tighten them up and enhance them. This is our new line of pedals that we're debuting at the NAMM show. We've got a reverb, a delay, a distortion, a dual channel overdrive, a compressor, and a buffer. We've also got a California series acoustics that apply our color and our Fender headstocks to really make an acoustic guitar for someone who wants something different. Celestian's F12 X200 loudspeaker is designed specifically for guitarists who use amplifier modeling technology. It combines the flat frequency response of pro audio speakers with the immediacy of traditional guitar speakers. This allows guitarists to enjoy the instant fingers to music connection of their favorite amp while enjoying the limitless options their software provides. It's for guys who are using digital modeling amps, profilers, that kind of thing. They would ordinarily use a full range flat response speaker, but the F12 offers something different. It gives you the, the live feel of a guitar speaker, but you still get the frequency response characteristic of, a, of an FR LR speaker. We call it full range live response, um, and it's much more musical than the sterile cold PA speakers that one might use uh, ordinarily with a modeling amplifier. It gets you 200 watts of power handling, it's available as an 8-ohm speaker, uh, and it'll drop into any standard guitar cabinet. Turn up the temperature on your drum technique with the new fire grain drumsticks from Promark. These hickory drumsticks are crafted using an ancient heat tempering process that increases the strength and durability of the wood. It turns the trace amounts of tree sap resin in each stick into an external armor that reduces chipping and denting. The result? Well, you can hit harder, if I only knew how to play the drums, and play longer with fewer broken sticks. That's cool. Ladies, 
FTI Boost pedal recreates the genre-defining heavy metal guitar tone of Black Sabbath's Tony Iommi. Yeah, the TI Boost was commissioned by Iommi himself to reproduce the sound of his original Dallas Rangemaster. It emulates the front and boost used on all the early Black Sabbath recordings with additional gain and EQ options for even more control. It's designed to replicate uh, Tony's original Dallas Arbiter Range Master from back in the day, back in the 70s, which he lost, his tech threw away, and since that day he'd kind of had this sound in his head that he was trying to, re to recreate, could never do it. When they started to get together the, the rig for the final tour, he came to us and said, look, what's the possibility of you recreating my old pedal uh, exactly? So we spent a long time doing R&D research with him um, and came up with the TI Boost pedal. It's a very straightforward pedal. It has a, a drive control, a volume control, a low end EQ, a switchable mid EQ section and a high end EQ. And we'll be right back in just a few moments. Stay with us. And the nominees are... I would like to present this to Sting. I always wanted to have a Les Paul. I never imagined that he would give me one himself. You know, the little statues and the plaques. This is a real award. T-Bone is the last train home, the last connection to all the golden inspiration that led me to this room tonight. That was deeply beautiful, y'all. You may ask yourself... I just wanted the thrill of being someplace where people clap for microphones. Yeah, I like the music and the rhythm of a 12 blue. How many Les Pauls do you have to destroy to win the Les Paul Award? If it wasn't for Les, we'd probably all be playing acoustic guitars, you know, in mono. truly have given me the opportunity to express the things that I felt in my soul. I'm going to remember this. I wouldn't change my life, but I would love to be able to remix it. Giving this award is, is very, very meaningful to me. I want to fly like an eagle to the sea. To the guy who needs nothing but a guitar to say, here's who I am, Mr. Les Paul. Welcome back to Tessa's Convention TV at NAMM. The retailer's editorial staff works real hard to write these broadcasts, but just like with the monthly print publication, we simply can't get everything on the air that we want, or for that matter, in print. That's why we started our weekly streaming video webcast, the newsletter, which I host, so you gotta check it out. It's just one more way to keep you all informed. And it's that commitment to service and innovation, both with video and in print, that makes the music and sound retail of the industry's circulation leader. We have more audited, requested readers than any other magazine in this industry. Our editors are all plugged in to what's really happening with today's independent music stores, and it shows in our reporting and exclusive news content. Let's check in with Malord to see what's happening out there on the NAMM show floor. Hey Jill, I hopped over here to the LD Systems booth to catch up with Steve to find out what's happening over here this year. Talk to me, Steve. We are really excited this year to introduce our Maui 5 Go battery-operated column array system. Similar to our regular Maui 5, which we had out for about a year and being used uh, pretty extensively throughout, we decided to take the same product, put a battery in it. Now you could take it outdoors. You could use it in all types of venues. 30 hours of battery life. There's a battery meter on the back of the unit that you could simply press and see how much battery life you have left. And as you are playing in between your songs, you could simply lift this out and pop in a brand new column which has the battery, lithium battery, built right into it.
Bring some color to the stage with the Pop LSM 9 from MXL Microphones. I got the memo, I'm wearing the popping red, okay? This dynamic vocal mic is designed to be seen, not just heard. It's available in a range of eye-catching colors that will add a new layer of expression to your stage presence. These are handheld dynamic microphones. They're built with all premium quality dynamic components. They have a nice dynamic capsule inside. Built-in noise cancellation to reduce handling noise. They come in four bright poppy colors. So we've got neon yellow and fluorescent green and bright hot pink and uh, fluorescent blue. We put a lot of detail into the packaging of the mics because this is a retail product. We want to make sure that these things bounce right off the shelves. So we made sure that the products are really nice and loud and attention grabbing. You know, just as bright and colorful, demands your attention just as much as the mic itself. Evans Drumheads is expanding its UV coating technology to a new line of bass drum heads. The UV1 bass series comes in a 10 millimeter single ply variety, as well as EQ4 and EMAD models. The EQ4 version features an internal overtone control ring that focuses the drum's tonal response. And the EMAD version, well, that offers adjustable damping for added attack and focus. All UV1 base series models are available in sizes from 16 to 26 inches. So our UV technology is something we brought to market very recently and it's really exciting because we actually take a uh, screen printing on top of this film um, and then cure that with the UV light. It creates a very strong bond between the film and the coating itself. Um, which allows the drum head to be more durable. It doesn't chip as quickly as uh, standard spray coated uh, heads. RCF has added two new active two-way cabinets to its NX series of speakers. These new cabinets feature the power of accessories of the TT Plus series, but in a rugged, durable design that's made for everyday use. The new models include the 12-inch NX32A and the 15-inch NX45A. Both models feature 1,400-watt Class D amplifiers and onboard DSP and are intended for medium to large events. Pretty cool. Um, it's our new wood boxes, 12 and 15 inch. They're uh, 1,400 watts, and these boxes were made to try to fill a gap that we had at RCF. Um, this is the, one of the new focuses we're showing at NAM this year, and these speakers will be in stock in the warehouse now. Are sequels better than the originals? Yamaha says yes. With the launch of DXS12 Mark II and the DXS15 Mark II, which combine 1,020 watt Class D amplifiers with a unique bandpass cabinet design, this results in higher SPL and more impressive low end than you'd expect from subwoofers of their size. And because their amplifiers don't require active cooling, these subs can run at high volume for extended periods without the risk of shutdown or distortion. We now have more power and more output and a uh, newer design cabinet's a little bit lighter as well. So you can see here we've got the stereo ends, so it sums to mono, that's really helpful. And you can also use the high pass out so the crossover for your whole system can be in the subwoofer. And it has a cardioid mode, so if you have two subwoofers, you'll have the ability to actually steer the bass energy. Don't stray away too far because we will be right back in just a minute. A minute, really, 60 seconds, I hope. Ah, oh, the name is Bootsy, baby. Hey, to all my funkateers out there, did y'all know ukuleles are big nowadays? Take a look at this. Experience the Mackie Live Sound Legacy with all new MP Series Professional in ear monitors. Available in single dynamic driver, dual dynamic driver, and dual hybrid driver configurations. The affordable MP Series Professional in ear monitors are here to elevate your performance to the next level. All right, the retailer's editor, Brian Burke, just texted me from the show floor saying that he's with NAMM's first female chairman, West Music's Robin Valenta. When you were named chairwoman, what was the number one thing? You probably thought of something. This is one thing I'd really love to accomplish in my tenure. Well, what would that be? Well, you know, that's a great question. Thank you. Um, a couple of years ago, I had the pleasure of speaking to NAMYP, the young professional mm -hmm. or, uh, organization within our industry. And during that meeting, um, I just did an informal survey of the group and how many were um, family, in family businesses, you know, succession um, plans within their family business, and how many were young entrepreneurs just starting their businesses for the very first time. And the room was actually split, um, about half and half, young entrepreneurs, 
young fa um, family business owners. And it hit me at that time that what we need within the industry is a mentorship and entrepreneurial program that helps our members not only succeed in a family business, but to succeed in a, start a startup business. You know, and, and making sure that we have those tools and resources and those networking opportunities for those young entrepreneurs that don't have their, you know, their, their fathers or their grandmothers um, that have handed those businesses down to them, but for those young entrepreneurs um, to really have access to, to uh, a mentorship program that can leverage those resources to help them be successful uh, within our industry. Because as we know, you know, we can go out and recruit more members or we can keep the members we have and we want to do both, but uh, it's, I think it's really important that we get something in place, um, some kind of mentorship young entrepreneurial program uh, to help our beginning members. And just in the last 12 months, we've signed up 700 new members. Now we have 10,000 members globally, but 700 in the last 12 months. And uh, so we have to make sure, you know, that, that this is, a, they feel like this is home for them, that, they, that they're part of the family. And again, that, that, that we give them the tools and resources necessary to be successful. Thanks so much, Brian. Speaking of the ladies, there's a big event going on tonight, and this is one I'm all fired up for. The She Rocks Awards, my favorites, are about to hit you with your best shot. And come to your window at House of Blues, Anaheim tonight, beginning at 6.30 p.m. With the goal of shining a spotlight on deserving women in the industry, the She Rocks Awards will be co-hosted by K-Rock's DJ Kat Corbett and Women's International Music Network founder, Laura B. Whitmore. Pat Benatar, Melissa Etheridge, that was me singing before, and Kate Pearson and Cindy Wilson from the B-52s are among the honorees tonight. Melora is with more women who will be honored tonight. Thank you, Jill. And now, speaking of women who rock, I have with me right now a She Rocks honoree, Christy Porter from Guitar Center. Christy, can you tell me a little bit about your retail philosophy? Yeah, so we always want to make sure we have the right products that are at the right price. We want to make sure our merchandising is easy for the customer to shop. And we want to take risks and try new things and keep our assortment fresh. Excellent. And, you know, we know obviously you're successful, but tell me what has led to your success? Um, I think, you know, working hard. Um, I'm pretty competitive. Uh, just seizing every opportunity and really trying to gain experience that, you know, in hopes would lead me to future roles. We have always been huge fans of the She Rocks Awards and right now it makes me really happy to be able to catch up with another honoree from this year. I have with me Vanessa Maring of Harmon. Vanessa, congratulations first off. You're welcome. And secondly, you know, just tell us how you feel about this honor. I was really touched to be nominated. This is a really amazing experience for me. I've worked in this industry for 15 years. I put my heart and soul into it. I've really loved it. I've loved the creativity of my team, of our customers. So this means a lot to me. And one of the best things about the process was getting to connect with other women in the industry in the process. I haven't worked with a ton of women. I haven't gotten to know that many women through my time here. So it's been amazing to tap into that community and to be able to reach out and support some of those who are just kind of starting in the industry. So that's been really gratifying for me. Excellent. Well, you deserve it and we appreciate all you've done. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ania Technica is back with another wireless win. It's fourth generation. 3000 series gives you the power and flexibility to operate in the increasingly crowded UHF frequency spectrum. These wireless mic systems have a functional range of up to 300 feet. They are available in two frequency bands, both of which offer a 60 megahertz tuning range. That's more than twice the tuning range actually offered by previous 3000 series models. And the new series is available in a variety of configurations, so you can design a unique wireless mic system for every application. Jill, Gary Boss, Audio-Technica, hanging out. Let's talk what's uh, different this year with the 3000 series. Well, actually, everything is different. It's a brand new wireless from Audio-Technica that happens to share the name with the old 3000 series. On the front end, this has a really wide 60 megahertz tuning band. That's going to give you a lot of flexibility. It has automatic squelch setting, which is real important. It also has a unique function where we have a button that we can program, and we can set that to a backup frequency. So if a performer or an entertainer encounters interference between songs they can hit that button and switch to a new frequency we have a new handheld design with interchangeable capsules with the new industry standard design and a new miniature belt pack 
Here's another exciting entry into the growing percussion accessories market. The new and improved Rhythm Tech Cajon has everything you need to add some Latin flavor to your rhythm section. Big advancement, I'll hit that part first, is the enhanced sound port that we have here in the back, which gives a dramatically increased bass response. Uh, in addition to that, it features um, an adjustable two-part snare system for a really terrific high-end crack as well. Chauvet DJ's Freedom line of wireless, battery-operated fixtures gives you the freedom to take your lighting rig wherever it needs to go. And now the line offers more options than ever before for even more freedom over your lighting design. It is a compact version of the very popular Freedom Par series of 100% wireless battery-operated fixtures. Just under six inches tall with a magnetic base to stick to drop ceiling frames and other metal surfaces. This thing is perfect for pin spotting and accent lighting. You can change the colors of all your fixtures installed up in the ceiling all at once, create amazing, exciting chases and strobes, or just make some subtle, elegant color matching looks. Comes in a charging case of four fixtures with the charger, ultimate convenience and flexibility. And we'll be right back with our final segment of the day. Stay tuned. It would be a challenge for you to travel anywhere in the world without hearing audio produced by PV Electronics. Since 1965, PV has produced well over half a billion products. From the smallest garage band to the largest sound stages, PV has created the tools to amplify the soundtrack of your life. From theme parks, airports, houses of worship, and halls of state, PV personifies American innovation. Our mission is, and always will be, to provide innovative tools to amplify the sounds of your life. Welcome back. We're just about ready to wrap up the show, but we've got a few more stories for you. Let's go right now to the show floor and check in with Melora. What's going on? Jill, I love convention TV at NAMM so much, and one of the main reasons is I get to hang out with fantastic MI manufacturers like D'Addario, where I am right now with Rob Cunningham. Rob, what's right off the shelves this year for you guys? Our hottest items is the DIY power cable kits. So these allow you to make custom power cables for all your pedals. Uh, you get 12 plugs, 20 feet of cable, so you can make all custom uh, power cables for your pedal boards. Uh, so your pedal board gets nice and neat because power cables are usually things that are the sloppiest. You also get a built-in cable tester, so as soon as you make the cable, you can test it and you know that it's built properly. We have strap locks uh, that you can add onto any strap. So they're available in chrome, gold, and black. So these are, hopefully it's a D'Addario strap, but if you have another brand strap, you can put these strap locks on it. Your guitar's nice and safe. And it's simple to use. So you simply pull up on the plunger, it releases the lock, it comes right off the guitar, goes back on, locks, and then it's not going anywhere. Pretty cool. Thanks so much, Melora. Apex Tube Matching has an interesting service offering for all of you tube amp fans out there. With details on their proprietary power tube matching system, here's Melora Donahue. That is right, Jill, and I have the good fortune right now to be standing here with Clark Robertson from CE Distribution. Clark, let's talk tubes. You got it. Uh, we've got new tube matching system, Apex Matching. Uh, we've been doing it for a few years now. We are excited to announce that we have some enhanced points which give a better match. Uh, we deal with everyone from builders all the way down to end users. Uh, tubes, when they're made, they're not a perfect thing. So it's good to match them up. Uh, what we do is we take a lot of different test points with the tube and we find a perfect match for it. And the result, you may not become a better guitar player, but your amp will sound better. It will last longer, the tubes, and that will give you more inspiration to play that much better. Every girl's crazy about a sharp dress mic, and the signature edition V7B FG from SE Electronics is as sharp as it gets. This dynamic handheld vocal mic was designed for ZZ top frontman and certified rock and roll legend Billy F. Gibbons. You can tell by his signature on its all metal chassis. When it comes to tech, the V7B FG has everything you need for crisp, open sound, and it will definitely turn some heads. Thanks to its custom chrome finish and royal purple windscreen. Well, as a girl who loves a microphone and also loves ZZ Top, I'm very excited about this next product. I'm here with Jonathan Pine at SE Electronics to talk about their V7 BFG microphone. 
Jonathan, obviously this is a beautiful microphone, but besides its beauty, tell me what we need to know about it. It's a hypercarded microphone, which means that you're going to get a little bit more rejection and a little bit less feedback in any situation. One of the things that we love about it, it has a very neutral response. It's quite flat in the mid-range, but has really nicely opened up in the high end. So a very cool thing about this is a built-in internal shock mount which means you don't need an external one, it's built right in, so that means really low handling noise for the microphone. We also love the fact that this is Billy's first signature microphone and the first signature product we've ever done. Hafler's P3100 promises to take amplification into the next generation. This two-channel amp was designed for both studio recording and audiophile listening. It comes with features that reduce the length of the signal path while providing exceptional stability, and it includes extensive heat sinks to eliminate the need for noisy fan cooling. All that adds up to an amplifier with the tech specs to satisfy the most critical listeners and the robust construction that professionals crave. Well, the Hafler P3100 is a recreation of the old Hafler P3000, which was around several years ago, kind of became a staple in recording studios, and uh, went away for a number of years, and then when we uh, restarted Hafler a couple of years ago, we set out to recreate the amplifier. So it's basically uh, very similar to the original amp and the original specs. It's 150 watts a side at 8 ohms, uh, very clean fanless power for the recording studio. can do 200 watts a side at 4, balanced inputs, and all the nice clean power you want with a nice high-end passive studio monitor. Smart Guitars has reimagined its standard series guitars in the most significant update to the company's flagship guitar line in 185 years. Standard series guitars have been the instruments of choice for legends like Johnny Cash, Tom Petty, Dolly Parton, Joni Mitchell, Kurt Cobain, Eric Clapton, and countless others. The reimagined series includes a modern, high-performance neck shape that is thinner and more comfortable for the player. The new guitars also feature vintage accents like open gear tuners, as well as some tweaks to their internal features. The end result is a fresh take on a modern classic. So the standard series, we reimagined it like we did the D28 back in Nashville. So if you think about, it sounds better, it looks better, and it plays better. It looks vintage, but it still has modern playability because we put a high performance taper on the neck. We moved the braces forward, which is called forward shifting, and that really helps it to get a more full sound, but still balanced and powerful when you play it. Lastly, we have antique white binding, which really wraps the whole package together and again, gives us that vintage meets modern look. What we did then was we took that theme all the way through the standard series and we're really happy with it we hope you are too now it's time to catch up again with the music and sound retailers editor brian burke who's been rounding up manufacturers and industry execs who've won highly coveted music and sound awards also known as msas in our 32nd yeah i said 32nd annual presentation as you know dealers vote for the honor of their manufacturer partners that makes it even more meaningful to get an msa take it away brian with Mark Nelson from Roland, and we're here to present the Best Electronic Drum Product Award for the SPD SX. Congratulations. Ah, thanks, Brian. Thanks very much. Yeah, we're really excited about the SPD SX SE. It's a, it represents an extension of one of our top selling products, the SX, with a expanded memory, uh, a really cool red color, and Ableton Live. So it provides all the additional things that the touring and, and hobbyists could possibly want. You talk about truly unique products. You got to say Yamaha Vanova, our uh, B&O product of the year. I'm here with Matt Kearns from Yamaha to talk about it. Matt, congratulations. Thank you very much. This is a huge honor for us. Uh, the Vanova is a brand new type of a product for us. We're calling it a casual wind instrument. That's kind of like a ukulele, but as a, as a wind instrument. So it's a hybrid between a saxophone and a recorder. Very simple fingering systems like you would find on a student recorder, but with a soprano saxophone mouthpiece and reed. Fun, easy to play, lightweight, very portable, take it with you to the beach, just something new and exciting and fun out there. Best keyboard sound module, we have the Yamaha MX-88, and I have Blake from Yamaha. Congratulations on the award. 
Here you go. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this award. The MX-88, we're really happy with that product. You know, the great thing about it is it feels great, it sounds great, it weighs less than 30 pounds, it goes to the gig. The thing I love about MX-88 is that it, it, it kind of continues our tradition of being a musical instrument manufacturer. So when you play it, you really feel like it, it feels great, but man, picking that up and taking it in and out of the gig. Um, the fact that it's also a computer audio interface, so you can connect to a computer. You can go to the gig if you use something like main stage and you want to have a virtual instrument thing in with your MX-88. It's all built into one very low cost, great feeling instrument. Here at the PreSonus booth for the best mixer console for the Studio Live 32. I have Eric Welsh from PreSonus. Congratulations. Thank you guys. We appreciate it very much. Uh, we appreciate the award for our new uh, 32 channel Studio Live Series 3 console. Uh, updated architecture and now integrates with the rest of our ecosystem. I'm here with Ray, David, and Gene from QSC, the 2017 award winner for product of the year for the K.2 series. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Tell me about the product. Well, so K Family has just been a magnificent product since its inception back in uh, 2009. Uh, it was a game changer for our company, a game changer for our channel partners. And um, we're just thrilled to receive this award and the recognition from all of the, the readers and all the dealers out there. And, uh, just coincidentally, we're also celebrating our millionth K Family product sold now. So thanks to all of you uh, great dealers out there for the support. We couldn't be uh, more happy or more proud of the work. NAMM is truly an international show. It's amazing the number of countries represented in Anaheim this week. Here's what NAMM's Betty Haywood had to say about the international experience. There's no question NAMM has become the global show. I mean, I mean, I think it's it's not only Nam saying it; it's everybody saying it. So, so what have what have been some of your efforts there to make sure that's that's the case? And what what are you doing to continue that growth? Um, I think one of the main things that we have that other organizers might not have is that we are a membership organization, and that people feel that when they walk onto the show floor that this is their show. Um, and I, we take this very seriously um, because we want that to be also reflected in everything that we do in terms of the service we're providing to these international members as well as the, the, the US members. Um, because it's a membership organization. It is the industry's show and all the proceeds we're, we're, we're making at this show, all the, the great investment that the exhibitors are, 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 are doing at this show goes back into market building, goes back into PR for music making and so on. And that, that doesn't only take place in the United States, by the way, but through the NAM Foundation, we are also investing in campaigns to make more music makers all around the world. I'm in the mood for a little rally right now. Fortunately, I'm in luck. Celebrate music education and honor its champions and advocates at the Grand Rally for Music Education. It's presented by the NAM Foundation at the California Ballroom on Saturday at 9.30 a.m. It will feature Forte, the classical crossover opera pop trio of tenors, and inside the practice studio interview with Vanessa Carlton and student performances by the Manhattan School of Music Electronic Jazz Ensemble featuring Bernie Williams. And that should do it for day two of Convention TV, or maybe not. Let's check in with Melora to see if she has any more reports to file. What's happening down there? Yesterday, Jill, we broke some big news with this company, but we are not done with Gator cases. Today, Brian, let's talk about product. All right, so in addition to growing our line of um, our family of brands, we also have a lot of exciting new stuff coming out on the Gator side, including a uh, USA-made line of roto-molded rack cases, our G-Pro series. Uh, these are made in our own facility in Indiana. They're made of a heavy-duty polyethylene plastic, uh, really sleek design, and they are stackable. Uh, they have Pen Elcom twist latches and full front and rear threaded rack rails. And then we also have a really cool new uh, stand in our Frameworks line. This is called Stanley. It's a clip-on guitar stand. Clips to the bottom of the end pin on your acoustic guitar. Basically makes a foot that your guitar can stand wherever you go. Thank you so much. Well, that's it for day two of Convention TV at NAMM, and we'll be back again tomorrow with an all-new show. I promise that there will be lots of new products news and maybe even a celebrity appearance or two or three. For now, I'm your host, Jill Nicolini, and remember, when we sign off, TV works because, after all, you're watching it, and we, of course, thank you for that. See you tomorrow.